In this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a market basket analysis using our tricks and Tableau. Let's load our grocery transactional data set into our tricks. You can do so by using the input data tool to load a file or the text input tool like what I've done here to load the transactions. Every row is a transaction with a column indicating the item purchased. Under the predictive grouping tab, let's drag the MB rows into the canvas and connect it to the data set. Let's set the transaction key field as transaction ID and the field that contains the item identifier as item description using the a priori method association rules and keeping the control parameters as default. We can then drag the browse tool to the object anchor as well as the report anchor and click run. Altrix generates a transaction data summary report for us, which breaks down the summary statistics of the transactional data set as well as a new summary report. From here, we can see that the item whole milk is the most frequent item with a count of 269, and there are a total of 157 rules in our transaction data set. So, to further analyze the rules generated, we can use the MB Inspect tool to inspect the patterns in the data. We can connect this tool to the object anchor of the MB rules tool. Let's keep the under parameters as default except for the leaf parameter and set it to 1.7. Sorting the association rules by leaf. Leaf will tell us how these items are more likely to be purchased together compared to random chance. Drag the browse tool to the object anchor and the report anchor and click run. The report outputs detailed association rules, a group matrix, as well as a network graph. The output tool outputs five fields, left-hand side, right-hand side, support, confidence, and lead. We can save this data set for matrix as a Tableau data extract and use it to create more visualizations in Tableau to analyze the association rules generated. So after saving the Tableau data extract from our tricks, we open up Tableau and we can create more visualizations such as confidence measures by support, Leave by support bubble plot and scatter plot for all the three different matrix to help us better analyze the association rules. So, for example, we can create a bubble plot to visualize leaf and support. Let's track the associated item to the text card as well as the basket field and select circle as the mark type. Next. Track leaf to the color card and select orange blue diverge. Track support to the size card Let's reverse the color palette and this is our bubble chart for leaf by support So the bigger the bubble, the higher the support and the redder the bubble, the higher the leaf value. We can see that the support of other vegetables and root vegetables is very high, which means that these two items are frequently bought together. While for yogurt and curd, a leaf value of 2.73 means that the chances of us finding yogurt in transactions that contain curd in the basket is 2.73 times of the chances of finding yogurt in a randomly selected transaction. So, with these insights that we have gathered, 
We can recommend the supermarket to place yogurt and curd in the same aisle to boost sales of both items together. So hopefully with this short tutorial, you can now know how to perform a basic market basket analysis using our tricks and techniques.